everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is a cardio day for me and as I was thinking about how to shoot this vlog because I just didn't want to bring you guys on a run. It will be kind of boring, right? So I thought why not just go ahead and explain to you guys on how I'm applying the results I received from my VO2 max into my training. So come with me and I'll go ahead and explain everything. So what exactly is VO2 max, which is also known as maximal oxygen consumption? Well, when you exercise, your body needs oxygen to produce energy. And the more oxygen you can take in and use, the longer and harder you can work out. Simply put, it's the maximum amount of oxygen your body can use during exercise. So what does this really mean for our everyday life? Well, the more we train, the easier our everyday tasks become. For example, like doing errands, cleaning, working and taking our dogs out for a walk or even spending time with friends and family you'll kind of start noticing how you just are able to go through the day without feeling as tired as before Okay, here are my results from my VO2 max. My max heart rate is 175, putting me at a fitness level of good, which is not bad, though I would like to get it to at least the beginning of excellent. Just know that you can perform zone two with any type of cardio, walking, running, treadmill, and one of my favorites is martial arts. And definitely swimming. <laughs> okay, I think I'm having too much fun here. Let's get back to the video. So, almost any training can be zone two, as long as you can keep your heart rate low enough to pass the talk test. My heart rate to hit zone two will be at its lowest, 123, and at its highest is 140 beats per minute. I use my Apple Watch to track my heart rate. <sighs> okay, so I had to bring it down to a walk because my heart rate right now is like about 138, 139. So I'm gonna just walk for a bit until I can bring it down to maybe like 120 beats per minute. So yeah, so now just taking a walk and then once it goes down, I'll be able to go ahead and pick it back up and run a little bit until I get back to at least 130 and then bring it down. That's the game for today. Now, how do we get started with zone two training? Well, fortunately, because zone two is doable for almost everyone, you don't have to wait to get started. But just know that it's not a quick fix. A lot of the big adaptations of cardiovascular training takes a long time. And that's why it's important to find something that we can do for a long period, week after week and month after month.
and that's it and today's workout was a good 30 minutes and um and yeah we're just gonna go home now and do some groceries so i can on my next video show you guys how i go ahead and uh do my macros buy all the food and kind of plan for the week all right guys so if you like this video please hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you won't miss the next video and also tell me are you guys doing any cardio like and doing it with the zone have you ever done the vo2 max let me know all right guys see you in my next video bye i'm back all right so here's my outfit i put my shoes on because they had to put my shoes on because <laughs> they had to let me see if i could do this side you guys can see that can you see the whole thing well this is the bottom look how pretty cute those are the shoes and let me see if i can put you here and you can see You know one of the, the school um, uniforms? I don't know about the skirt being this short, but whatever. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna see about my breakfast because I'm actually pretty hungry and I want to eat something. Anyway, so I'm just bringing you guys a day and a work day for me. Um, yeah, it's gonna be an easy day and fun. Alright, I'll be back. <laughs>